I really didn't want him to do it at first because what happened to me and how dangerous the sport is. Where's it hurting? But I couldn't see him doing anything else. I think he see the bad part of the bull ride. You know, he wake up with his daddy and see his daddy have a pain all day long, every day. He want to be the best, but he knows it's very dangerous to you know, ride bulls. His mom and dad taught him that. Life's not easy. It was a rough situation, and, Paul, and, and John grew up in that environment, you know, facing adversities and overcome everything. So that boy, since he was born, he was that destiny for greatness. You know, I got hurt a month before the Challenger series and I uh, got on my first couple and I was scared. I'm like, how am I supposed to ride in a PBR like this? Jess called me for a bull team deal and he flew me out to his house. Uh, I get on one of his bulls, I go 90 points and uh, I get on his other one and he didn't really do what I seen on the video. As soon as I seen kind of John get leaned back and uh, that bull jumped ahead with it, I knew what was coming. Instantly, you know, okay, he's out. In non-political terms, I was in my pants at that point. His horn hit me right here and it just went through it. Hit it kind of on the top and hit me straight in the eye socket. Man, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've never been scared in my life. Till the first one I got on. First couple, actually. Like, I was really nervous, like really nervous. I was scared. I was like, what if it happens again? Leading up to that, John had all the ability in the world, but you know, you see someone's egg get cracked, that may ruin them. But when you see him come back like John did, you know, like, okay, this kid's built different. That show some heart, and that's what something I always see on him. And that's something you cannot teach. Either you have or you don't. And John got a big one. No, it was pretty normal after that. Kind of nervous. I didn't think I was going to be able to get on the Challenger Series and all that stuff. But, you know, everything worked out how I was supposed to. Just right, just what I needed. That bull's been the them PBR team deals. Seen them a bunch. Kaiki bought him out the practice bull. That's just perfect right there. He kind of bucks, but it's just what you need to get ready to stomp some this weekend. Good day to be a cowboy, that's what I think. Now. He's a seven million dollar bull rider. JB. Golf, I, I always wanted to play golf, but you know, I'm pretty bad at it, but I'm trying to work at it. Golf, I go out there by myself sometimes and just to clear my mind a little bit. I uh, just had a good time by myself. Sometimes I really do overthink things and it's pretty cool to see that, you know, the PBR is posting me and like the next superstar or something like that. They posted the other day and I was like, oh, no, I don't. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I kind of had a lot of pressure on me because I was, you know, pretty good during high school and they were all talking about me being 18 and that day finally came and I was kind of in my head a little bit. Look at my comments and stuff and like, oh, he only ride the bulls to the left. I really don't, I don't really care about it. Uh, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm capable of too, so I don't care about it. John, without a doubt, is the best 18-year-old on the planet. I never see nobody like him, a young age kid coming up. The weakness, his weakness, probably his mind, you know, like he's real uh, touchy when people talk about him and, and if they talk in a bad way, he takes it for a while. All kids in general coming up, yeah, you're gonna have haters and people that don't like you, but you, you can't be a people pleaser in this sport. You gotta be selfish. It's hard to think what would John Krimber need to do to get to the top and be a world champion, be the greatest ever, because he's, he's got it, he's the full package. The kid just has to not care about the haters, about the people that aren't 
you know, on his side and wanting to see him do good and thrive. People just want to see me lose because they hate seeing a winner. But they just better get used to it. Witnessing history here in Rio Delta. And everybody at home, you're watching something pretty special because John Krimber just keeps adding wins. So this year with John Krimber has just been amazing. I mean, he turns 18 in August, and it was showcase after showcase after showcase. He won. And then he wins Stockton, California. He wins Kennewick, Washington. He wins nine events. Okay, we're talking August to the middle of October and wins nine events. Nobody does that, especially at 18 years of age. The superstar! Look! The superstar! Even though he's won nine events, John finds himself behind. So you gotta think about that. He won nine events and he's still behind Alan DeSouza. So John's coming in in a position where he's trailing, he's chasing a little bit. So Columbus, it was the being the last one of the last events of the season. It was a chance for me to get more points, like close the gap on Allen. Even the fans in the stands are starting to understand the importance of John Krimber. When we introduced him in the opening, before we even said his name, people were st his silhouettes up on the on the board, and people are starting to cheer. Like they're following this. We're we're all buying in that that John is the man. As a youngster, he won every bull riding championship a kid could win. How about John Krimber? A lot of people talk about you know, it being difficult to win. But I think one of the hardest things in becoming a star in anything is learning how to lose. When you've been as good as this young man has been his entire life, I think the hardest thing he's gonna deal with is, is accepting defeat. And at this level, even the absolute best have to learn to deal with defeat. You cannot ride 100% of your bulls in this level. It's impossible. And so John's going to learn to deal with that. And the question is, how does he bounce back? You know, these PBRs, this is just a draw. You know, you draw whatever you get on, you got to ride whatever you got. So a lot of people said I couldn't ride them away from my hand. And I was kind of sitting there, I'm like, man, can I actually do this? And my dad called me like, you just, <laughs> you just, you know, be calm. You know how to ride bulls, whichever direction, whatever they do, you can go out there and do the job. And, you just gotta believe in yourself. And right then I was like, yeah, that fired me up. I can do whatever. John was kind of first where he bucked off. It wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of second, third, and fourth place finishes for him this year. Allen was more consistent than he was throughout the year. So John's coming in in a position where he's trailing, he's chasing a little bit. I think I'm only 72 points away from Allen now, and it's gonna be dogfight here in Vegas because now I actually have a shot at winning it. 